Hey guys, uh, I'm making this video today to explain how to assign uh, inputs from an interface to a track in Reaper. Uh, for example, maybe you're, you just got your first interface, you've never worked with one before, and so you hop into it and you're really excited, and all of a sudden you go to assign your uh, inputs to a track, and they just don't seem to be anywhere. You can't figure it out, and you don't know what to do. Um, I had that problem when I got my first interface and tried to set it up with Reaper, and it took a whole lot of just reading a bunch of articles and forums online that usually never even led to the answer that I needed to, and a lot of messing around with the program to figure it out. So uh, I'm going to cut to the chase, and I'll show you what's causing your problem and how to fix it. It's pretty easy. So to make the process easier to understand, what I'm actually going to do is fast forward in the process a little bit. Um, so what's supposed to happen is you are supposed to go uh, right click on this here dot and go to input mono and pretty much all your inputs are supposed to show up right here. And how you're supposed to go about assigning the inputs is, uh, for example, let's say you're recording drums with your interface and you want to record your snare uh, with the first track. That's where you want your snare to be recorded. So what you're going to do is, for example, if your snare is hooked up to uh, the first input on your interface, you're going to go uh, here and you're going to click on the first input here. Uh, so you're going to assign the first input of the interface where your snare is hooked up to, to the first track. Which will cause your snare to be recorded on the first track in the uh, program. But the problem here that you're having is that when you go to assign your input, you go to input mono here, and it just says left and right. And you're like, well, what the hell? Where, where are all my inputs? And the solution is pretty easy. The problem that's causing this is that the uh, a, a computer runs has multiple different audio systems on it, and interfaces uh, use ASIO audio systems. And Reaper doesn't run with ASIO right off the bat. It runs off of some other audio system. And so what you have to do is you go to Options and down to Preferences. And then, basically right here, you're just going to change that to ASIO. And then, uh, what you're going to have to do is where you see uh, this first and last thing. Um, this is basically referring to how many inputs your interface has because uh, you need to set this correctly so that the program can recognize all of the uh, inputs that your interface has. So, for example, my interface has 16 inputs, so I'm going to set the first, obviously, to the first input, and then the last I'm going to set to 16. And then the same thing for the output range here. Obviously set it to input 1 for the first, and then the last, uh, since mine has 8 outputs, I'm going to set it to 8. And then to check and make sure it's working, you're going to go right click on that dot again, and go to input mono, and there you go. Uh, all your inputs should be showing up right there, and then just assign whatever input you need for each track. And obviously you're going to have to do this individually for every track. So for every track, go and right click on that dot and assign the desired input. And there you go. I hope that fixed your issue and you're now able to multi-track. But if that didn't fix your issue, since you're new to your interface and everything, make sure you have the correct drivers installed for your interface so that the computer can recognize your interface correctly and therefore the interface can run correctly. If this video helped you out at all and fixed your problem, or at least guided you in the right direction, and you want to see more audio tutorials from me in the future, subscribe to my channel, because I definitely plan on making more of these videos.